What's up, YouTube? Today we're we'll be solving a related rates problem. Um, classic problem, how fast is the boat moving towards the dock given a weight of change? How fast the rope is getting pulled into the dock? Telling you how fast the rope is moving, and I want to know it when the rope is this long. So to solve this problem, I'm going to start with two triangles. A rate triangle and a position triangle. So I'm going to label those a rate triangle and a position triangle I'm going to call P. So you use these triangles to, fit, to fill in the information you know and to fill in the information you don't know. As for the rates, we know the rate dr dt. This side of the triangles are, so this guy is going to be dr dt. We want to find db dt. This side's b, so this guy must be db dt. And we also know that this side is a, this side must be d d a d t. That's my rates. This is how fast everything's moving from point B to A or R, top here, down to A there. That's how fast everything's moving. Now for the position triangle, we have so. Is the A side three? The A side is three, yes. For the position triangle? For the position triangle. So this would be three. And then the R side's ten. R side is ten. So how smart. do you find this side? A the Pythagorean theorem. A squared B, yeah. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem on that triangle to solve that side. So we're going to say 3 squared plus B squared is equal to 10 squared. And then we're going to say B is equal to 100 minus 9 square root. Right? Square root of 91. Square root 91. So this is square root. 91, and we can get an approximate number for this, but for this problem, we're just going to leave it as square root 91. And these are all in meters, meters, meters. So now, what we have to do is we have to know if there's a relationship between position. Yes? For that formula you just did, is that something that you need to remember? Yes. And that's going to tie, every, um, that's going to tie everything together. Okay. And I'll talk about that now. Okay. Right now. If you have a position function as a function of time, and you took a derivative, you would get a rate function as a function of time. Cool? So we're given this position. We know the position of everything. If you were to write a function that tells us position, take a derivative of it, we'll get rates and we'll be able to fill out these rates. So let's first talk about which rates we know and which rates we want to find out. dr dt, we know that. It's two. two. It's equal to two. Why is it two? How do we know that? It's uh, a given. Oh. dr dt is two. Told you okay. that. DB dt, this is what we're trying to find. We don't know that yet. DA dt, this is a rate. This means how much this is changing. If we're looking at this boat, as the boat moves in, does the length of A change at all? Is it going to get smaller? No, because mm -hmm. the boat's moving. Nothing over here is moving. So the rate of DA dt, zero. zero. It's not moving. Good. So what we're going to do is say, all right, in our position triangle, how do you relate the lengths of the sides of a triangle? What's a function that we know? We just talked about it. Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. So we can say, all right, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to, in this case, r squared, because we called it r. Arbitrary, we came up with that. Right? This is our position function. A, zero. This, the side a, the rate is zero, yes. This guy changes with time. Right? As time changes, he could change. As time changes, he could change. As time changes, he can change. Right? So what we have to do is we have to say, this is a function of time, this is a function of time, this is a function of time. We have to use um, something called implicit differentiation, which is something I'll cover in another video, um, to take this derivative. So to take this derivative, we would say the derivative of this guy, using basic power rule, 2 comes down to the front, we get 2a, implying implicit differentiation, we slap on d a d t. Next derivative plus 2b times d b dt is equal to derivative of this guy, 2r dr dt. So we went from position to rate. So we're relating where we are to how fast we're moving. Cool? That's the relationship. Yes. So now what we can do is we can just plug in the information we have. We know dA dt is zero, so this whole thing's going to go away. And we know that b is, we go find, let's label these sides, the square a, root b r. We know that b is going to be square root of 91. So we get 2 root 91 
times dbdt, which we said was, we don't know, we're just going to leave it dbdt, is equal to 2 times r, and what's r? 10. 10 times what's drdt? 2. 2. And now you just do some algebra to solve for dbdt. Divide by 2 both sides, that cancels with that guy, and we're left with db dt is equal to 20 divided by square root of 91. So how fast the boat is moving in is whatever approximate decimal you get for this guy. That's how fast we're moving that way.